Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Oblivion Builds. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Nightingale build. Now, let me just say this. Someone on a live stream told me to build a Nightingale build and they reminded me that it's the thieves related to Nocturnal that you end up being a part of in the Thieves Guild. What I totally forgot was that, so when I was first looking this up, I was looking up pictures of birds and I'm like, how am I going to make a bird build? And then I realized, oh wait, it's the Nightingales. It's the actual, like, group of people. So, as the Nightingale, as you'd assume they're related to the Thieves Guild, so pick some character with high stealth skill uh, in Oblivion, basically Wood Elf, Khajiit, or Argonian. One of those three works really good. And for, your, uh, for all the stuff before the skills, you're going to have the Thief sign, stealth, luck, and agility. It's really basics on what you're going to have. High luck, high agility on this character. For your skills, you're going to have sneak, speechcraft, security, so those are all kind of related to stealing things. Light armor, illusion, blade, and restoration. So, the first set of skills, <clears throat> pretty simple. You know, sneak, speechcraft, and security are all kind of related to stealing things, whether it's, we'll say, the role for roleplay, being charismatic to the guards, or for sneak and security, basically stealing things, because sneak is also related to pickpocketing in, um, what do you call it, this game. So, then we get into the other skills. Line armor is, well, the thief's armor. But then we have, um, illusion, blade, and restoration. Now, these are all skills related to the agents that you would be of the nocturnal nightingales. Um, so the first is the agent of stealth, which is you go invisible when sneaking. So illusion is related to invisibility. Um, the agent of subterfuge. Um, you get a power which forces... I'm reading this right off the wiki because I, I, how, how to explain this in other terms, I just can't do it. It says, they are granted the power of Nightingale subterfuge, which forces targets into the area of effect to attack anybody on sight. So, basically, um, related to illusion and I would say blade, is basically just causing rage and chaos in front of everyone. Okay, that's what you would do. Now, the last one is called the Agent of Strife, which basically you, is, is an absorb health spell. Okay, that's where restoration comes in. So, Playing this character, basically you'd sneak around stealing stuff or sneak around being an assassin if you were raiding dungeons, and you would use chaos to your advantage, along with absorb health. That's going to be like kind of your main attack type spell, which if I'm not mistaken, I believe absorb health can have range. So that would be also a very beneficial ranged attack. If not, then you're stuck at close range and you got to use that kind of chaos a lot to your advantage. And you'd also be going invisible a lot of the time. What's nice is you'll also have illusion, which means you can paralyze someone. So, added benefit of being in part of illusion. And also, because you're good at blade, you're damaged to other people um, when you're like sneaking, you know, or even just in general in combat, your damage is going to be higher, and you can actually rely on defending yourself with a dagger or a sword, just in case you need to. So that's really it for this build. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion builds. My name is Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.